everyone come to go after them. I'm telling you. That's why I see our traffic in Nigeria to make available uh, information, intelligence, tips that would aid the discovery of such huge amount. It's just small thing. Yeah. I'm sure. Small thing. Yes. Ten million dollars. Yes. Five billion naira. So people have been in, in crates, in bags. Come on. I'm telling you. The only that we are able to lay hands on them. Yeah. So that's why I'm giving to everybody to please make this information available. Because if we can lay hands on this healing well, I'm sure it will not be, we must stay for more than three months for this session. What? Yes, it, it, it is that much money? It's sufficient for us to get out of the economic situation. So, what is your message to people who are hiding money right now? What is your message to them? I think I would advise people to just come out and approach the government that this is what I have and they may be, uh, because our emphasis now is in the recovery of the looted funds. Looted funds. The recovery of the looted funds. Yeah. I think if people should come and give us full disclosure, we will go after the people and uh, maybe that is the best way for a uh, supplement. Yeah. I, I read somewhere there was also an amnesty call that if people do surrender the money, they will not be prosecuted. Is that true? I'm not sure of that. But then we encourage uh, recovery. If you can voluntarily bring out the thing. Voluntarily? Disclose, yes. Disclose the thing. Yes. It is the government that will decide what makes so, life. So if I have a fireproof safe and I, or a crate of money and I bring it to your office, will I just walk away? Do you really have one? Never. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> do you? When you do that, we'll decide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a case by case basis. <laughs> no, no, but really, we, we encourage uh, people to come out and disclose the diluted one. And uh, uh, you know, it's free. Yeah. But we encourage the return of money. Yeah. Well, and, you... and I, I, I emphasize, I maintain that uh, economic decision is caused by corruption. Corruption is mother of all evils. So about ninety percent or eighty-five percent of the cost of the session is corruption. Because there was funds, people stole the funds and went and kept them where they cannot reach. Chairman, bottom line, are you sending notice to all looters right now? Are you sending them notice? Yes. Please they should cooperate with the government. They should come forward and declare what they have looted. And the government will take us. Yeah. Chairman, good to see you. Thank, Thank you so much for your insights and thanks Thank for coming. Thank you very much. Please don't forget, everybody must join in the fight against corruption. It's very necessary. We are dealing for the future of this country for a better tomorrow. So it is better that we chase them, not me alone. You also join me and you are men to chase the corrupt practices and get the looted funds to return to the government. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Ibrahim Magu, Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission here in Nigeria.